Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a text color change using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro. And the first thing we'll do is go to the media pool down here. I've just got a blank project set up. Let's just right click, go to new and go to color map. Let's set the size to 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. And then we set it to square pixels here and click OK. And we can choose any color we like. We can use a black background or we can choose a different color in here. For now, I'm going to leave it to black and I'm going to show you how to change the background afterwards. So let's just drag to the top left. That will be black. Click OK and then click OK again. Let's drag that color mat to the timeline. When we drag it to the timeline, we want to grab the uh, timeline cursor here and set it to one minute duration. It doesn't have to be one minute, but I'm just going to use one minute for now as an example. As I'm dragging this, it might be a little bit hard to get it exactly one minute. So use the left and right arrow keys uh, on your keyboard to get it exactly one minute. And you can move to the right hand side of the um, color mat here. Left click and hold down the mouse button to drag it out. So it will snap to here and that will be exactly one minute. Let's move the cursor all the way back to the beginning. Click on the text tool and click inside the canvas. And we can type anything we like. I'm just going to type in color text. And then we'll click on the move tool and we can drag that onto the canvas here. This is the registration point, this little circle, and we want to point that put that into the middle. Before we do that, let's just click on the drop down and you can click down here and change any of the, you know, change it to a different font. If you want to change it to a different font style, you can select them from here. So you've got different font styles here, but I'm going to leave my one on impact, right? The default font, let's just leave it on impact for now. And what we will do is click on this registration point, hold down the left mouse button and hold down the control key and drag it so that it's sitting in the center of the text. Then click on the text itself, hold down the left mouse button, hold down the control key and that will snap it to the center. So now our text is nicely aligned and we want to increase the duration of this text. So let's say we want to make it roughly uh, 15 seconds long. So I'm going to move the timeline to 15 seconds. Here you can see 15 seconds. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see this a bit clearer. And we'll drag from the right hand side, holding down the left mouse button to snap it to 15 seconds. Now I want to turn off this timeline, the targeting. Yeah, let's turn off the targeting here and turn on the targeting on the one above. Because when we click on this text and press Control C to copy. So control C to copy and then control V to paste. It will paste it because it's targeting this point of the timeline, right? This particular clip here. So it's important that you turn this one off and on. That way when you paste it, it will paste it here. Let's move over this text here. This is the only object so we can change the color. So let's select in the color fill and I want to choose a sort of orange color, something quite strong. Let's choose like this sort of orange color here. Maybe a bit stronger than that, somewhere around here. And we'll select this orange color and click OK. Now our text is orange and we've got a blue one here and an orange one here. Now we just want to transition between them. So let's go to video effects here. So go to the window and make sure you can see the effects um, here, effects options, right? And inside here, we want to go to the video. In fact, we want to go to video transitions. We want to go to dissolve and we want to select cross dissolve. Drag and drop that in between the two text objects must be in between. Let's just zoom in and show you this a bit more clearer. So I'm going to click here. Let's just zoom right in between these two objects, right? Between these two. When we click and drag the cross dissolve, we want to make sure we see green on, on the left and the right hand side, not onto the left here, not onto the right side here. We want to drag it in between both of them. So when we move back on the timeline and click the play button, we'll see this cross dissolve and the color change like this. So that's how you can quickly and easily make a color change text using Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead and click save. Let's minimize this. That's the tutorial showing you how to animate text color change using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you find this tutorial useful. I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.